crowd rolling, looking that way, retreating, he'll just throw it out of the back of the end zone, there was heavy pressure, actually, a flag comes out, I thought it was going to be way beyond the end line, Harrison worked his way back and actually made a play on the ball, and is down on the field, that ball was fluttering, and I thought it had no chance to be completed, Harrison being intended to by the athletic training staff, it, somehow that ball almost came down in bounds on the back end. I thought it was with you. I, it was fluttering. Personal foul. Targeting. Defense number 22. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. This way is under review. Of course, they'll review it. That's Javon Bullard, an enormous play. Instead of an incompletion, this would set up Ohio State for first and goal. Kirby bringing everybody. He's just trying to buy time. Watch this ball. doesn't go into the stands. It's on the back line. And there's the hit right there. I mean, he's on the back line, he steps out, but he's trying to make a play. Then the big hit by Bullard, and that's where the flag came in. Looks like he hit him with a shoulder pad. Terry Layton, the Pac-12 crew, will take a look at this one. Now, there was the helmet to helmet that time. A replay took this targeting rule off. It's not rule targeting. Your thoughts? I agree with replay. I do not have targeting. He is defenseless. It was close to contact the head neck area, but it was more to the shoulder. I did not see his head spin back from it. First of the night by Noah Ruggles, who's been almost automatic in his Ohio State career. And 25, he makes the lead 14 now with 31 seconds to go. It's not necessarily that they're doubling him. Georgia really not targeting him a lot. There he is. Down the middle, and Hewitt's foul. 